as they have more ways to try to keep your kids safe while they're there. That's right. We're learning mandatory lockdown practices and a new two-way radio system in schools are doing just that. Fox 10 News reporter Corey Pippen brings you the details. Class is back in session here in Baldwin County, and officials say they aren't taking any chances with the safety of the students. Baldwin County School Superintendent Dr. Alan Lee says while they've been practicing emergency lockdowns for years, a new Alabama law has made it mandatory for the entire state. He says the need to practice those lockdowns was highlighted Tuesday morning when Foley Intermediate School was locked down after they received reports that a student claimed to have brought a gun on campus. While the student was found to have no gun, Dr. Dr. Lee says being prepared is the number one goal. It's entirely up to the principal to plan depending upon what events are going on in their school. They are required to have lockdowns in their practice sessions just as we require fire drills and we require tornado drills. Dr. Lee says they're also adding a two-way radio system to every school in the county. He says the staff will have the radios on them at all times and will allow them to contact the Baldwin County school system as well as authorities. We have emergencies in schools all the time. Some, sometimes there are children who have medical issues and sometimes there are accidents. So this is going to help in a lot of different areas, not just in keeping kids safe from intruders. Dr. Lee says while not every teacher will receive a two-way radio. Radios will be given to school officials in the office and around campus that have the best chance to contact authorities should an emergency happen. These measures come on the heels of Foley adding resource officers to every public school. Lieutenant David White with the Foley Police Department says all three will benefit law enforcement. A school resource officer is there um, throughout the day during school. Um, but it allows the patrol officers to, number one, be familiar with the school. It allows them to understand the process, the procedures, what happens next, not only during the lockdown, but the aftermath. Although we see a story from one part of the country, it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to have that same sort of an incident here. But we need to be prepared for it. Reporting from Baldwin County, Corey Pippen.